Matthew 24, 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that is shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And the devil, who deceived them, was thrown into the lake of burning sulphur, where the beast and the false prophet have been thrown. They will be tormented day and night, for ever and ever. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. You missed the turn, you idiot. Shut up, Hazel. How dare you tell me to shut up? That's emotional abuse, Henry. Don't start that again. Marrying you was the biggest mistake of my life. You male chauvinist pig. Zip it so I can think. Henry, look out. <laughs> what did he say? He said, get a priest. Did he make a good confession? Father? Yes, thank God. He'll be dead in an hour. Since he got his last rites, John's okay, right father? Yes, I have forgiven all his sins. John Sullivan was the most devout layman in our parish. The dear man even had an audience with the Pope. What a terrible loss. You're going to face the Lord, John. I hope I've been good enough to make it. That was your big mistake. All his life, John Sullivan faithfully served Holy Mother, the Church. After a stay in Purgatory, our beloved John will enjoy the bliss of Heaven, thanks to all the prayers and Masses said for him. But John's name wasn't in the Book of Life, so he heard these terrible words. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. No wait. You can't do this. It's unfair. Please Lord listen to all the wonderful things I did. Speak, John, I am listening. I spent my whole life doing good works. My word says, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But I prayed to the Blessed Virgin, just like the Pope does. That's idolatry, John, and no idolater shall enter heaven. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. O oh Lord, I'm sick. Maybe this will help. I was an altar boy, and attended Mass twice a week. John, where do you find the Mass in Scripture? It doesn't exist. But Lord, the Mass is the unbloody, ongoing sacrifice at Calvary. That's a lie. The sacrifice was completed on the cross when I cried, it is finished. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. But Lord, I know my baptism cleansed me of original sin. Right? Wrong, John. Only the blood I shed on Calvary can cleanse sin. And the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. 
but I thought being baptized as a baby, made me a Christian. I never said that. You should have believed my word, instead of your catechism. They lied about that, too. But Lord, I confessed my sins to Father Damien, and he forgave me. He couldn't do that, John. No man has the power to forgive sins. I am the only one who can forgive sins. Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins, but God only? Then millions of Catholics have been deceived. This is horrible news, God. Why didn't you warn me? I did. My servant, who loved Roman Catholics, gave you a tract that warned you about your false religion. I wanted you to know that your sins could be forgiven and you could be assured of heaven. This is hate literature. How dare you attack my church? But those are God's words. Baloney. I believe my priest, not this junk. Here's what that track would have told you, John. These things have I written unto you, that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Rome says, this is the sin of presumption, because she wants to keep you serving the church, and trusting her for your salvation. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. I was upset, Lord. The track attacked the one true church. Don't you love the Roman Catholic Church? How could I, John? Her false teachings are why you are going into the lake of fire. That's why I warned precious Catholics in my word to come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. I don't want to burn in hell. Can I receive Jesus and reject the Catholic system now? No, it's too late for you, John. Only those who are still living can do that. Yes, John is now reaping the rewards of serving the one true church. And I'm sure he can't wait for us all to join him. Don't end up like John. Trust Christ alone for your salvation. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for trusting a religion instead of you. I receive you as my personal savior, and I accept your gift of eternal life. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Nobody else can save you. Admit you are a sinner. Be willing to turn from sin. Repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried, and rose from the dead. Through prayer, invite Jesus into your heart to become your personal savior. What to pray? Dear God, thank you for showing me what you think about Catholicism. I also reject it. I accept Christ's sacrifice as perfect and complete. Please forgive me in Jesus' name. I invite Jesus Christ to come into my life and I place my trust in him alone for my salvation. Thank you for giving me eternal life right now. If you just accepted Jesus Christ as your own personal savior, read your King James Version Bible every day to get to know Jesus Christ better. Pray to God every day, in your own words. Be baptized, worship, fellowship, and serve with other Christians in a church where Christ is preached and the Bible is the final authority. Tell others about Jesus Christ.